when you're stressed out after work, it comes to mind. When it's gloomy and rainy outside, it comes to mind. When you miss your friends, it comes to mind. Today, we will explore the history and culture of Soju and what that means to the Korean people. Hello, my name is Michael Porto. Hanjan Hashileo? I work for SoulGrid.com, and my main role for SoulGrid is to report on alcohol in Korea. Something that we've really wanted to do lately is report on high-class soju bars and different types of venue that serve traditional Korean drinks. So right now we're at the Han River, and something I really like about the Han River is the fact that everyone comes out at night, and often they come out to drink. People don't drink excessively. They just drink to relax, have a good time, and then they go home. You good? Yeah, all right, we're on our way. Thanks. So, one of my friends is going to meet us at a soju bar. So, let's go there now. Hello. Porto Nice to meet you. Welcome. Soju in the past few years has really been changing. Before, it was mostly just a men's drink, but now a lot of women are starting to drink it. And it's basically because of the proof of the alcohol has been lowered. If you look around, you can tell that the people are much younger and the atmosphere is much different than you would have typically had when drinking soju in the past. Yeah, I think it's good for me because sometimes I want to drink it with a beautiful woman or, you know, so. <laughs> Is, is this some kimsol? It looks different. The presentation's changed, you know? Mm. It's not your typical old school sangyeopsal. Uh, you know, with the soju, even the anju is you know, changing a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm holding my cup with two hands. This is usually a sign of respect to someone who is older than me or a coworker who is of a higher status. Also, Mike, you want to remember that uh, when you're drinking with someone who is of a higher status or older than you, you want to turn your head and drink like this. Nice. All right, excellent. You're a real Korean now. Thanks. <laughs> What I really like about these types of markets is the food. It's extremely cheap and high quality. Back in the old days, Korea was not industrialized. It was basically a farming economy. People would work in the fields and then be very tired. What would they do after they worked? They would drink soju. What's really unique about this place is the camaraderie it brings. As you can see, everyone's friendly and even the shopkeepers are extremely friendly. We can talk to Emo, we can talk to the guy sitting next to us, Basically anything goes. People come here, drink soju, not because they're poor, but because they want to reminisce about the old days and have something that's very familiar to them. It's something very comfortable for them. If you can make friends with soju, you can make friends in Korea. Because it's a tool to bring people together. Soju is not just a drink, it's more than that. It's something that isn't unique to Koreans anymore. It spans all continents across the earth. So it can really connect other people. And especially in Korean society, this is very important. If you want to connect with Koreans and understand Koreans, you need to understand Soju and what that means to people. <laughs>